Hello everybody, it's Gareth here from Paris Technologies with the second in our video series on budgeting. In our first video, we asked ourselves the question, why budget, why bother? And we realized that it's part of the process of being successful. Planning, budgeting leads to success. And in today's video, I wanted to try to answer the question, why? Why do budgets work? And there's four main reasons. The first one is the fact of visualization. So we know as individuals, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. We know as teams, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And what works for teams and what works for individuals works for corporates. In order to achieve some uh, form of great success, you need to first dream it or visualize it. And actually the recording or writing down of those numbers in, in numbers and words of that dream is your annual budget. The second thing is it helps to align the team. That's really important. The larger your team, the more important this is. And very large corporates understand that the, the process of budgeting helps everybody align and helps everybody make those correct decisions to achieve the plan. But even in very small companies, where, like a small family business, where maybe the owner has a, a vision and the owner thinks that they make all the decisions and therefore they think that they don't need a, a budget. But actually, even in those small organizations, people make small micro decisions every single day. And having a clear plan helps them make decisions that align to that plan and makes that plan more and more and more achievable. All right. Thirdly, the budget becomes your guidance system, your guidance system for success. And the reason it becomes that is because once you've made your budget in the following year, you're going to compare actual performance against budget. And that process of comparing is what guides the company at all times. At all times, you're thinking, why did I not achieve budget? What were the reasons? Can I make it up? Um, can I learn from this process? Or if I've if I've done really well, like, wow, I, I thought I, this was the best I could do in my budget. But here, look, I've done better than this. How do I keep that success going? Uh, you know, how do I replicate that in the next period? So we're always referring to our budget as our guidance system. And finally, it becomes a feedback loop for learning. And we understand, we, you know, it's quite topical at the moment to talk about artificial intelligence and how that process is learning or the machine is learning from itself. But actually humans and organizations are incredibly good at learning if you give them the opportunity to learn. And that's what your budget does. By making the effort of going through an annual budget and then using it as a guidance system, this constant comparison to budget, you're learning. Why did we not achieve the budget? Or why did we overachieve the budget? How can we make better budgets next year? How can we do better and improve our performance in kids' budget? And what we're trying to do in this whole process is learn what are those levers within our industry, within our organization, that we can pull to get more growth and more profitability. And by going through this process of um, formally budgeting and then comparing against budget, we become smarter and smarter at understanding what works within our organization. In the next video, we're going to get more hands-on and practical. I'm going to um, start with a really simple cash flow budget. I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to show you how to read it. And I'm going to show you how it helps you um, achieve future success. All right. See you in the next video.